Here's what's coming up on today's Chiefs report. Xavier Worthy impressing at rookie minicamp. His speed has been on display. We talk about that. Also, is Jared Wiley the steal of the NFL draft? And lastly, Odell Beckham Jr., who signed with the Dolphins. Did he consider joining the Kansas City Chiefs? We hit on all of those stories here on today's Chiefs report. My name is Harrison Graham. Who's excited for Chiefs football to be back? I know I am. Chiefs going for a three-peat. Hit that like button if you are fired up for Chiefs football to return in the fall. All right, let's get some rookie minicamp news and notes out there for you guys. Worthy speed, like I said, has been on full display during rookie minicamp. First day, off to a bit of a slow start, not literally with the speed, but had a couple drops, this and that, and that's something to watch with him. He did have minor drop issues at Texas, but had a great Sunday, finished things off well today, it sounded like. Uh, had six catches on Sunday. That release off the line of scrimmage, he was able to toast some DBs, caught a deep ball as well, and he's been returning punts, which I think he'll, he'll be the punt returner. I, I do feel like the Chiefs will utilize him in that role, at least in his rookie year. We'll see as his career goes on, but he is a weapon as a returner, especially on punts, so uh, keep that in mind. Now, Xavier Worthy spoke to the media for the first time, you know, since draft night and all that stuff, and uh, said uh, he talked to Patrick Mahomes and said this about that conversation. He said he was excited about me coming into camp. Uh, it's amazing just to be able to have that uh, have that quarterback that wants you. That means you're obviously going to try to find a way to get you the ball and make you a part of the offense. And I really do think the opportunity is there for him to have a big role right away. We have him penciled in as wide receiver three, but um, – We'll talk about Rashi Rice in a second with his potential uh, suspension, but I think he's ahead of Kadarius Tony. I think he's ahead of Sky Moore and players like that. You know, Marquise Brown as a vet's going to get the nod, but he could certainly surpass him. I think Xavier Worthy has an early impact. Again, I think he's the punt returner. Uh, that's what I would think. I also think that he will get a lot of opportunities in the offense. Andy Reid and company will be creative in how to get him the football, uh, but uh, I do think uh, that will definitely be the case, and if Rasheed Rice misses time with the suspension, then uh, he could have uh, opportunities even earlier on than expected. Now, predict Worthy's rookie stats. What do you think he's going to do his rookie year? How about, I'll go like 42 catches, 710 yards, and six touchdowns. You know, he's not going to be a number one receiver or anything like that, but he'll make big plays. He'll be a complimentary piece. It wouldn't shock me at all if he averaged 15 to 17 yards per catch. Drop your stat predictions down in the comments for Xavier Worthy. And if you want to get a Worthy number one jersey, because he is worthy of rocking number one, go to chatsports.com slash worthy. That link is in the comments and in the description. Click and shop today. Pre-order your Xavier Worthy jersey right now. Chatsports.com slash worthy. Uh, go ahead and check that out. All right, let's talk about another rookie, Jared Wiley, uh, who went to my alma mater, TCU, so I have a pretty good feel for his game. He's had a good start to minicamp, or did have a good minicamp, it sounds like, as well. And he, of course, was asked about Travis Kelsey, and he talked about him, saying, I've been studying him for like three or four years. Being able to be in the same position room as him now is kind of like a starstruck feeling. I've watched him play for a lot of years and tried to model my game off of him. And look... I'm not saying he's Travis Kelsey, because no one is. But there are similarities to their play style. He's kind of a poor man's Kelsey. Like, I watch him in person a lot, and he reminds me of what Travis does. One thing that really stands out that Kelsey is elite at is how good they are after the catch. Now, while he's not as good, he doesn't have as much wiggle, but you go watch his college tape at TCU, especially the last couple of years, he can make people miss, and he will give you yak. He will give you yards after the catch. Strong hands, pivot that foot, and get out and run. He does that really, really well. He's a red zone threat, just like Travis Kelsey. His big frame, 6'7", about 255. And he's a good enough blocker, kind of like Travis Kelsey. He's not a great blocker, but he's also not Jatavion Sanders either. Like, he will get in there. He will block. He's a willing blocker. Um, you know, he's a B type of blocker, right? Like, he'll get hands on pads and uh, get in the way, if nothing else. And, again, he's obviously not Travis Kelsey, but I do think this guy can be a starting tight end in the NFL. And who better than to learn from the best in Travis Kelsey, who obviously he got that pay raise for this these next two years. Who knows after that? Like, is, Tra is Travis Kelsey going to play for five more years? 
He might, but, uh, you know, Andy Reid is already starting to manage his uh, snaps on an annual basis to try and extend his career. The Chiefs need other tight ends to contribute, and obviously they have Noah Gray. They brought in Irv Smith Jr. Jared Wiley's in there now. I really do believe that Jared Wiley has a good shot at some point this season, if not by year two, to unseat Noah Gray. Noah Gray's fine, but he's kind of been the same guy for three years. Like, solid hands catcher, doesn't give you a ton after the catch, decent blocker. Irv Smith Jr. is interesting. I'll be curious to see where he falls in the pecking order as of now, but I think Jared Wiley could be this team's number two tight end at a somewhat reasonable pace here. Like, it, He's going to have to earn his way. The Chiefs obviously have a lot of vets. You know, this is not a team that's just going to force a rookie into action, but I think he's more talented than Noah Gray. Uh, Irv Smith Jr. has been underwhelming. He doesn't block much either. I, I could see Jared Wiley being that dude for Kansas City. Subscribe and join us because tomorrow, Tuesday, we will have Chiefs rookie minicamp winners and losers. We'll react to the three days and kind of tell you who stood out, who didn't. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications as Rookie Minicamp wrapping up here today on Monday. And if you want more Chiefs content as well, go ahead and sub and turn on those noties. All right, Odell Beckham Jr., uh, did he almost sign with the Chiefs? Report out there that the Chiefs were appealing to Beckham, but he did opt to sign with Miami. That coming in from Jeremy Fowler. He said there were some other teams in the mix for Odell. I was told Kansas City was appealing to Odell Beckham, Buffalo as well, but in the end... He believes this offense, talking about the Dolphins, can still help him prove something. Would have been a nice ad. Um, I don't think it's an addition you had to have, but I told you guys a couple times last week, I do think the Chiefs should look into signing a veteran receiver. Marquez Valdez-Scantling, bringing him back is an interesting option, although he's visiting the Chargers, so it kind of, kind of feels like that ship has sailed. Uh, but, you know, you've got Marquise Brown, you've got Xavier Worthy, Kadarius Tony and Sky Moore are pretty unreliable at this point. And if Rasheed Rice uh, does get suspended, and if it is a big suspension, there was another report out there from James Palmer that the Chiefs are bracing for it to be at least half the season, then you're going to need someone in there to catch the football. I, I think one way the Chiefs could combat this is multiple tight end sets with Kelsey, Wiley, Noah Gray, guys like that playing on the field at the same time. But I, I would be and feel much more comfortable if Kansas City – brought in a vet receiver, even if it's just bringing McCole Hardman back uh, that knows the offense because uh, obviously uh, you're going to miss Rasheed Rice more likely than not for at least a few games. Now, do you wish OBJ had signed with the Chiefs? If you do, type Y for yes. If you're like, yeah, I'm good, type N for no. Kind of felt like this might be the year it happens, but uh, ultimately it was not to be. Appreciate you for tuning in to today's Chiefs report. I am Harrison Graham. Like I said, we'll be back tomorrow with some more rookie midi camp uh, winners and losers, some reaction to the three-day camp. Uh, until then, go Chiefs.